All right, welcome back to KM6 LYW Radio. This is the channel where we talk about uh, amateur radio and uh, data modes or digital modes, uh, uh, trying to reimagine them in the information age. Hey, today's going to be no exception. We're going to talk about emergency beacons. You know, how, if, if you're in distress, what do you do? How do you get your condition and position um, out to the real world of all you have is amateur radio. Yeah, you can get on a voice repeater, maybe you'll raise someone, or you can just yell into a frequency and hope someone hears you, but that data is kind of ephemeral. Let's see if we can get uh, information about ourselves out to the real world and get it out on the internet, or maybe light up a bunch of radios that might be nearby that say, hey, I'm in distress. Uh, let's see if we can do that this time on KM6 LYW Radio, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. When do we stop? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know when to stop. You know, what is the proper time for bumper music for a YouTube video? So anyways, welcome back. Um, so let's see, how can you send your uh, your information out in an emergency beacon using uh, some sort of packet radio? You know, I know you're thinking, Craig, you're just going to do send an APRS position packet. Well, yeah, that's part of it. We're going to do a little bit more than that. Uh, we're going to send an emergency packet out, and we're going to do stuff on HF today as well, not just locally on VHF. So, uh, you know, we can get your distress beacons out worldwide um, if we need to. All right, so what I want to start out with is just picking up, you know, your HT radio like this. A lot of them have um, APRS built in that's uh, send your position you can do texting it's not just about position you text other radios and you actually text other cell phones if you have an APRS enabled radio I have one right here this is a Yaesu FT1 XDR you can get these on eBay this is my favorite HT of all time uh, Kenwood makes them ICOM interestingly enough does not make an APRS enabled radio um, so you know we can always send our position uh, just by sending a beacon and it sent our beacon, you know, it went to the internet, uh, you know, if an eye gate picked it up somewhere uh, nearby. But, uh, you know, when you send a, a mic exchange packet, which is what that was, uh, you can have a status. And most people just set it to off duty, on duty or driving or something. But there is uh, not really a secret status, but there is a status called emergency. And um, we're going to send an emergency packet uh, using our APRS enabled radio. Let me make this a little bit bigger so you can see it a lot bigger. In fact, what we might do is just hide me all together. Ah, how about that? Now you don't have to see me. You have to see my uh, my mixer board, though. Let me make this really big. All right, so we've got the FT1 XDR here, and we want to go into the menu settings, all right? So I'm going to go to display, enter for APRS, and then position comment is what you want. Okay, guys? Click on that and see how it says off duty. You can select from different things, uh, custom things you can put in here in route. Um, but the one you can set to, and I don't do this unless you're in a real emergency or you're on a different frequency than APRS, is set it to, to, to emergency. Okay, I'm going to press this and then I'm going to say go back on the menu without all this glare. And it's beeping, wanting to make absolutely sure this is what I want. Yeah, this is what I want. So I'm going to say, okay, my uh, position comment is now emergency with an exclamation point. Now, this is a special comment, okay? Don't, you just use this. If you're going to test this out, use a different frequency other than APRS. I'm um, just going to do some interesting stuff. So I've got a Yaesu FTM 400 right here as well. It's uh, tuned to 144255. That is not an APRS frequency because we're going to do an emergency packet test. All right, so let me get the camera up here. And I'm going to send an emergency mic E packet right now, okay? So here we go. Let me get this all lined up so you guys can see it. All right, here goes the packet. I'm going to press its function 9, I think is what sends the packet on this one. Now, I want you to watch the uh, the radio on the right, the Yaesu FTM 400. And this goes for all Yaesu radios, including HTs. Um, I tried it on a, I didn't, it didn't work on the Kenwood so well, but let's send the packet and see what happens. I'm going to send, just send this position packet with a position comment of emergency uh, with an exclamation point on the end. Here it goes. Nah, that's changing the frequency. Let me try that again. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. I, you know, this is hard to type on and watch it sometime. Okay, here it goes. Look at that. I don't know if you can hear that, but you can see the screen is red with emergency. 
Um, I didn't configure it to do this. In fact, all of my APRS filters are on. The radio is beeping incessantly. It shows that I am in an emergency. It shows my position. Um, it shows I am zero miles north of myself here. Um, you know, of course, that would tell me where I'm at. So all Yaesu radios and other radios possibly, I, I haven't tested them all, will actually have this secret emergency thing that they're looking for. And this will stay up on the screen until someone sees it. Um, of course, the radio is beeping. So if you want to send an emergency packet, uh, send a position or Mikey exchange packet, which is a beacon on your on your amateur radio, and uh, make the position comment emergency, and radios will light up in your area, um, and you know they can look at your status and stuff too. Um, I don't know if we need to go through that, but um, so that's how emergencies work. It's kind of cool for APRS. Of course, don't be shortchanged. On just VHF, you can do more as well. Let me make myself visible. Um, so that's VHF. So I don't know if you guys know this, but on HF, there's actual an APRS frequency on HF. Do you guys know that? I, you know, I didn't know it until uh, well, not too long ago. Let me see if I can get this zoomed in. So I've got a, the venerable ICOM 7300 on display here. I've also got the DigiPi attached to it. Um, as you can see over here on my mobile phone or cell phone, depending on your your country. <laughs> Let me see if I can get this more in there. There you go. You can see the cool radio stuff. Um, so this is the DigiPi. This is the Raspberry Pi. You know, I talk about this incessantly on this channel. It's currency currently in TNC 300 baud mode, which is what we're going to use for HF. Um, you can see the web management interface over there for the DigiPi. You know, it has all of these different modes. But right now we're using a mode called TNC and APRS iGate on HF. So that's 300 baud HF. We're specifically tuned to 10.1476. Okay, that's the APRS frequency for HF. It's on 30 meters, so you're going to need a 30 meter and 10 for this and so what I'm gonna do is just send a beacon out um, in fact I'm gonna use uh, since we're using the DigiPi we can just use an app for that we don't even need to type on anything uh, I'm gonna say I am now connected to start tracking actually I'm already connected to it in fact you can see the little Bluetooth icon is lit up there on the on the top of that bar there a little light blue thing so we know we're connected via Bluetooth via our phone and I'm gonna use APRS droid to send our position here it goes Going out over HF. Didn't make a lot of noise. I don't have the monitor on, so it's kind of a screeching noise. So I, we just sent our position. Um, now we could send our, you know, our status could be anything. You know, we go into preferences. We can say emergency if we want. If we go to APRS.FI, the website, you know, maybe tell this to give this to friends and family, and you'll you can search for KM6LYW uh, right here. I'm a, I'm a little house. And you can see my position status text is there. It says where I am, altitude, everything. Evidently, my speed is seven miles an hour, so I'm doing pretty good for just being in this chair. Um, so you you can get information out to the internet, basically. And we just got another packet that just came in. Um, WA7GMX, hey, thank you for being an HFI gate out there. In fact, let's talk about that. So if we click on my little house and click on info, and then go to map view, Hope you guys can hopefully you guys can see this. I know there's a lot of things being covered up. Let me get this more like this. If we zoom out, check this out. If we zoom out, uh, let's get the United States in here. Um, and now I'm going to hover my mouse. See, you see a little green line that shows up. So this is how far that APRS packet went. It actually went to Seattle, Washington. I'm in Sacramento, so you can see that right here. So the HF stuff really does get out. So you can do APRS emergency beacons anywhere in the world as so long as you have an HF radio. So that's another way to send your position and status. So we've done two uh, via APRS, one via VHF, another via HF on the 30 meter band. You guys just saw that. And so another way you can do it is actually to use uh, WinLink email. Um, you guys probably already know a lot about that, but WinLink email has a position uh, thing in it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disable the TNC and iGate. And I'm going to enable the RDOP modem. I'm going to do an HF WinLink position packet. So I can turn the RDOP modem on. You'll see the DigiPi should report that it's in RDOP mode now. It, it, it's totally cool when it's in focus, but uh, <laughs> that's just how it's going to have to be. And then I'm going to use the PAT WinLink email client. I'm going to turn that on as well. So PAT and RDOP are both running now on the DigiPi along with rig control. I guess that was necessary for this as well. And so now I can click down here and open PAT email. And I can say uh, and click here and say action, action, and we're going to do a new position. 
right? And if there is a GPS in your DigiPi and you have a USB hub, because Digi uh, Raspberry Pi only has one USB port, it'll actually pre-populate your, uh, your position. So I happen to know mine are in here. Um, you're going to use the uh, positive and negative forms of your position. And you can say, hey, uh, this is, we're using Pat, so time for androgyny. Here comes Pat, right? We got Pat. <laughs> That's Saturday Night Live reference. Sorry, guys. Saturday Night Live. Uh, and then we're going to say post, and that's going to post our position. At this point, we want to connect to an HF uh, WinLink server, so I'm just going to say action connect. And I am going, it's using the RDOT protocol. I'm going to show RMS list. Um, we downloaded these when we clicked on update cache a while back. I'm going to pick a no-brainer, easy target here. Um, I'm going to use KD6 OAT on the... Uh, I'm going to use 40 meters, that's pretty clean. That's Utah, that's California to Utah, and I'm just gonna say connect here. And I'm using reasonable power level of 50 something percent. And we're gonna to connect to KD6 OAT, OAT. We're gonna look at our outbox, and you'll see there's a position report in our outbox. Um, we've got our latitude and longitude, and actually converted it to north and west there, that's interesting. It changed the format completely. And of course, our position com comment, which could be, you know, emergency or something like that. Um, so this is trying to connect. I don't know. I don't know how 40 meters is doing today. I don't know. I'm not seeing. I'm not saying that's us. That's them. It's just not there yet. We haven't connected yet. So we might want to connect to a different uh, different node. That didn't happen. We didn't connect. Let's. I, that was supposed to be. That was my go to. Uh, a WinLink <laughs> uh, email server out there. So let's we can try something else. In fact, we might want to try uh, 10 meters was obviously getting out. So let's try 10 meters at 10.1425. This is actually in Mexico in Tijuana. Um, there's not too much noise there. My light makes a ton of noise. I noticed when I actually change the uh, the brightness. Check it out, I can change the noise pattern on that, change the brightness on my light and move those, those noise, <laughs> these clouds, I can move them back and forth. Don't ask me why. Okay, let's see if we can connect on 30 meters out to Mexico, we're going down to Tijuana here. Hey, we got the map up, so we can go from Sacramento to Tijuana and we're gonna send our position report via the WinLink email service, including our status. Come on, we're waiting for that response. You can do it. God, these are the easy ones. The propagation is just awful. I thought we were doing good today, too. I don't know. I always go to QRZ to check it out. I did do a test this morning, too. So, yeah, Solar Flare Index is 107. Um, not the best, um, but not impossible. Oh, there he is. <laughs> I just saw him respond. So now we're doing connection act sequence, and you can see that right there. You know, what I could do is just turn the monitor on for you guys. Turn the monitor on, volume up. That's him, that's me, that's him. Can you guys hear that over the mic? It's really loud in here. This is super obnoxious. All right, well anyways, you can see down in the, uh, the bottom over here of this phone, uh, my, my cell phone, you can actually see the, uh, the connection happening. Um, it says, uh, I have 144 daily minutes remaining with XE2BC. It's our Mexican station. Uh, actually, it gives us a solar flare index while we're connected. Hey, why not? Um, and we're sending the checksum of our email. The remote has accepted it. Now we're actually transmitting our position. Uh, you can see up here we see the progress report. Is it 0%? Come on. Yeah, 36%. It's just such a tiny email. I mean, this is really what that position report looks like. It's just so small. So it should, you know, this is only like 300 baud, right? Um, yeah, 82%, it continues. So our position report is basically almost sent. There it is, 100%, we sent our position. And hopefully this isn't way too loud and hopefully my lights aren't obliterating that signal. <laughs> Actually, it's coming through pretty wide now, that's pretty good. All right, so our position report went through. Um, at least I think it did. Yeah, when it's out of our outbox, and then we're uh, doing a quick check. You can, you can, I know you can barely see the log down there on, on this phone. Um, 
check where it is. It's, you, we're looking down here to see the actual status, but it's not in our outbox anymore. In fact, if we go to our sent box, we'll see our position report there. So our position report was sent. So what does that mean? Now who, you know, who can look at that stuff? So the one place you can go is to winlink.org. Okay. And this, you're going to see our position reports here. It's, it's still making noise. All right, we're disconnected. And you can click on positions right here. You zoom this in so you guys can actually see it. And you click on positions. And we're going to see all position reports. And these are all the blue guys. I am going to zoom in. No. Use control to scroll the map. And somewhere we're going to see our position. Hey, there's a guy right there. There is KM6LYW. Uh, that's our position. Um, actually, what was my... Uh, Last report was rebooted. I don't know. Anyways, you can put emergency in there and you can tell other people to go ahead and use this as well to see where you are and what your status is. So again, that's winlink.org and just click on positions and uh, you'll see KM6LYW there in uh, cool California. All right, we did it. We sent three beacons out without too many rough spots. Can't believe HF cooperated today. Uh, so that was cool. And so we, we sent it out over VHF and we sent it out over HF via APRS on 30 meters. And we sent it out over HF uh, via Winlink uh, on 30 meters. Uh, so I can get rid of the glare here. Using the Digipi and an HF radio in uh, RDOP and Winlink mode. All right, we did it, guys. Thank you for, for hanging out with me. We sent some emergency beacons. This was this was totally fun. Uh, I'm going to click on patrons here. This channel would not be possible without you guys. So patreon.com slash KM6LYW. Uh, anything helps. Um, it also gets you access to the Digipi image, which is the thing we just used in this feature here. Um, the Digipi is, uh, well, it's what you saw on the phone over here. It does all of this cool stuff. If you go to a web browser, it's totally, it becomes its own hotspot. It's all Wi-Fi based. You don't need to be a Linux guru. It supports, you know, the TNCs for VHF and HF that we just use. It can be a Digipeter. Maybe you want to be a Linux node or an email server. You want to be a WinLink email server. It'll do that. Email client. It's going to do WSJTX, slow scan television, FL Digi, JS8 call. Anyways, check out Krager.org slash Digipi. Again, this is a SD card image. It works on any Raspberry Pi and is available to patrons of the KM6 LYW uh, channel here anything helps um, anything gets you that password um, it's, it's 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 really not a lot so I got to thank you guys Foo, Steve, Michael, uh, BS I need to change that to Brian sorry Brian your initials are in Patreon uh, as BS so Jake, Christopher, Tony, Ryan, Bill, uh, Ian, Jim, Brad, Douglas, Simon, Don, Buddy Brand, Mark Lewis I'm just going to scroll there's so many I'm overwhelmed guys Glenn Strecker hey let me know how part two goes on your DigiPie thing on your channel a uh, great channel Glenn thank you uh, Bradley, Tim, Scott, Jeffrey, uh, Ghost Man, Rufus, Fred, uh, John, Mark, Robert, Hans, David, Huffman, uh, Peter, David, another David uh, let's see that's I'm, I'm looking I'm counting why am I counting David now is that a common name for ham radio that's just weird mark tom jim john uh martin thomas steve dusty Rhodes, ronald calix miguel uh, appreciate it james brown james brown yeah <laughs> i didn't know we had a james brown patron thank you james uh paul uh, Scott Evans. Sorry, James. I know we probably get that joke a lot, right? Okay. Sorry. Jim Brock Clayton, uh, Michael E.T. Kampf. Have to explain that that login for me, ET Conf. Uh, David, Ryan, Alexis, thank you, John, Brett, uh, Craig. Hey, love the name, Craig. Craig Duffield, thank you, Craig. And all the way down to Chris Hurd. Hey, thanks, guys. All right, this has been another KM6 LYW radio production sending emergency packets. Hey, maybe there's another way you can get your emergency packet out to someone in a, in a non ephemeral way. You know, some place that goes out and sticks somewhere that people will notice if you're really in a jam. You know, how can you get your, your, uh, your condition and your position out to the internet and other people who can help you out. This is KM6LYW, and uh, my name is Craig. I'm in cool California, and I am clear.